Well, we first told you here at four yesterday that Donald Trump was nominating Florida's Matt Gates to be attorney general in his administration. It is a pick that's raising a lot of eyebrows due to the fact that Gates has previously been under investigation himself for alleged sex trafficking. ABC's Rachel Bade has the story. Today, Donald Trump's pick for attorney general raising fresh questions about whether he'll be confirmed. Matt Gates, a longtime Trump ally, nominated to be the top law enforcement officer in the land. He's great and he loves this state. Congressman Matt Gates. Where the hell is Matt Gates? Gates has long called for an end of all Trump investigations, what he calls witch hunts. He also wants to clean house at the Justice Department. And we ride or die with Donald John Trump to the end. Gates himself has been probed by the Justice Department for alleged sex trafficking. He denied the allegations and the DOJ declined to bring charges. After being nominated, Gates immediately resigned from Congress. I hereby resign as a United States representative for Florida's first congressional district, effective immediately. That automatically closed a separate House investigation into Gates, probing alleged drug use and sexual misconduct just two days before the report was due to be released. The ESTIC investigation will cease uh, and no report will be um, issued at that point. But today, some senators who get to decide Gates' nomination demanding access to the confidential report. I think there should not be any limitation on the Senate Judiciary Committee's investigation, including uh, whatever the House Ethics Committee has generated. In the past, Gates has accused House Republican leaders of probing him for political purposes. Word is... I now have problems with the ethics committee, which seems really odd to me because I'm the one screaming loudest for actual ethics reforms. The big question right now, can he get confirmed? Some Hill Republicans today telling ABC News he lacks the professional experience and the moral compass to lead. I have concerns that he can't get across the finish line. Trump's allies on the Hill saying Gates deserves a shot, if only out of deference to Trump. Elections have consequences. He chose Matt Gates. Gates is now the third House Republican Trump has plucked for his cabinet, and Speaker Mike Johnson is starting to get nervous. Johnson knows he already has a very narrow majority to pass Trump's agenda, and he's begging Trump to stop poaching his members. Rachel Bade, ABC News, Washington.